Hello and welcome to the third part of the video manual of EA3. This video is a co-production between Forex Place and EA3 software. In the beginning we are talking about the technical indicators. You can access them by clicking the text menu Indicators and for example MACD or Moving Average. We have this hidden input button Shift. As you know we have hidden buttons to save disk space. And if you click it then you get this value 1. 1 means the previous bar, so M1 and S1 is the previous bar, the previous candle. The M2 or S2 is the candle before, so if we have the, the value 1, this is the previous bar and this is one more, so two bars before. If we have the shift value 5, then M1 and S1 is five bars before and M2 and S2 is one more, six bars before. Custom indicators. We can also integrate custom indicators into our expert advisor by clicking custom indicators and import MT for custom indicators. Then we can choose on MetaTrader Forex Place, experts, indicators. <laughs> I hope you don't mind my German windows here. And we can choose one, for example, here, momentum. And then we are getting this box here called iCustom. The custom indicators boxes are always named iCustom and the number because some of the indicator names are very long and the space here is limited so they are all called iCustom and a number. If you click, if you double click on them you are getting this here and you can change the different settings like the period and the shift and so on. Here an example for an EA. We open long if our custom indicator momentum is larger than the close of the previous bar. Here we have the I custom box for the momentum indicator, an if condition, the I close box and the trade box. And we are connecting it this way, the O1 output button of the custom indicator to A of the condition box. So A of the if condition represents O1. And here we have the close price B. The button, the operator value is greater than, so if A is greater than B, if the previous bar momentum is greater than the close of the previous bar, then we open long, otherwise we open short. Time series boxes. We can access it by clicking time series, I open, I high, I low, I close. Then we have function boxes, we have conversion functions and math functions. Conversion functions are important if you want to connect an output button to another input button, they have to have the same data type. If not, we need these conversion buttons to converge them, or these conversion boxes, like time to string, double to string, s uh, string to time, and so on. And here we have the math functions, functions, math, like cos, x, floor, and so on. We have the operator boxes to do some arithmetic operations like, like subtract, add, or divide. Now we are going to build another expert advisor. And this expert advisor is more complicated than the first simple EA we have built in our first part of the video manual. Here are the entry rules. We are opening long if previous MACD main is greater than previous MACD signal and MACD main two bars ago is smaller than MACD signal two bars ago and if previous 20 EMA is greater than the two bars ago 20 EMA. We open short if previous main MACD is smaller than previous MACD signal and if MACD main two bars ago is greater than MACD signal two bars ago and if previous 20 EMA is smaller than the two bars ago 20 EMA. The exit rules are we close long the same rules as open short and we close short the same rules as open long. And now we are switching to the EA3 application. And we are starting by opening the trade box. And we are moving it on the right side of the screen. Next we need a logic box, the AND long box. And we are connecting the output button of the AND long box to the open long button of the trade box. Next we need a crossover box, logic crossover. And we are connecting the true of the crossover box to the A input button of the AND long box. 
Now we can start building the MACD indicator. Indicators MACD. We are making all input buttons visible and we are connecting M1 to A, S1 to B, M2 to C and S2 to D. Shift is 1, so M1 means previous bar and M2 means two bars before. The operators are greater than and operator 2 is smaller than. Now we can start with a moving average. Indicators moving average. If we double click the box we can see the period is 20. We need a 20 EMA and the method is EMA. Now we need the if condition and we are connecting M1 to A and M2 to B. The operator is greater than. So if M1 is greater than M2, true, we connect the true of the if condition to the end long box. If we make here all input buttons visible, we can see the shift is 1, so M1 is the 20 EMA 1 bar before and M2 is the 20 EMA 2 bars before. Now our long scenario is done and now we can start with the short scenario. We open the logic box and short and we are connecting the false output button of the MACD crossover to the A input button of the AND short and the false output button of the moving average condition to the B input button of the AND short. And we are con connecting the O output button of AND short to open short. Now the last thing we do is we are connecting the O output button of AND short to close long and the O output button of AND long to close short. And now this is our EMA. Now we can save it by clicking File, Save as MQL4EA and we can save it into this folder here, MetaTrader Forex Place Experts. And now we can integrate it into MetaTrader 4. Thanks for watching the video manual series about EA3. If you have further questions, just visit the website of EA3, www.ea3.com. Thanks for watching and goodbye.